Hey guys, welcome back to Swinga's Basement of RC Stuff. What we're looking at in front of us is a uh, Tamiya Kong head. This is the mil spec version. I'm actually using the six wheels from my Beast uh, on this. They're nice weighted, they feel really good, and yeah, so that's what I started off as a look. Originally, I didn't, I had it stock, and then I put a brushless VXL system in it from Traxxas, and then all of a sudden I decided that I'm gonna make it somewhat of a crawler. So, body's all nice and black, blah, blah, blah. So basically, I mean, it's just a stock Kong head. I went with red instead of uh, the traditional blue, thought it would look good. I actually regret that, I like the blue better. Anyway, but there's nothing I can do about that now. But, uh, so what I'm running basically for electronics, um, I'm running two Traxxas waterproof servos. Here and here. Uh, so this is actually the four wheel steering kit. So you can turn the front and the back. Uh, which really makes it go around corners really nice. And that's why I was kind of thinking of a little bit more of a, an off-road scale vehicle. I mean, it doesn't have, it has very limited suspension, but again, it's, it, it works really well. The only thing I haven't uh, figured out yet is the pinion that I want to use. Right now it's still a little too fast, so I got to go through my pinion box and see what I can find. So we're running an old Novak Rooster system. Um, pretty damn cool. I, I've had a lot of Novak stuff. I think I only have two left that are working. So this is the old Rooster. It's running a Novak, I believe it's a 50 turn uh, <laughs> motor. I'm not sure if it's called a ballistic. No, the ballistic was brushless. Um, anyway, it's a 55 turn. Something you're not going to find too often anyway because Novak is now out of business. Now, one thing I did do is, oh sorry, back to electronics, I'm running a FlySky receiver and then just a Traxxas plug. I'm going to be most likely changing all my Traxxas plugs uh, to, uh, what's it, an X40, XC40, XT40, where are we? XT60, sorry. Um, this way, because I'm changing everything to this. Traxxas was an amazing plug in its day, but now, since you can't actually buy the plug itself, and none of the other, all the aftermarket ones are just terrible, absolutely horrible. They barely plug in, they always push themselves out. Different story altogether. Anyway, so uh, that's the electronics I'm using for it. I still need to slow it down, gotta play with the gearing a little bit. Uh, behind the sim wheels, I have, of course, in the chassis, I have locked all the diffs, and I think all I used for that was some uh, hot glue. This way, if it gets, you know, too bound up, instead of breaking something, the hot glue will release. And it's easy enough to take the hot glue out. All you have to do is pull the diff apart, uh, and if you want to remove the hot glue, just put it underneath a hot tap of water, or a hot water tap and it pretty much softens up. You can boil some water. You don't want it too hot, but that will soften up the glue and you just take a screwdriver and scrape it right out and then you're back to normal. So pretty easy peasy on that. The ground clearance on this, um, I wish there was an, an option to put quarter axles on this. I, I know it's on their other unit, but I'm not gonna buy it because I already have this. Um, and I already have enough scale crawlers in my collection, so I don't need to get yet another one. I'm trying to buy now more RCs that I don't, I haven't had. So in the platform of the Stampede or something like that, I got three of them. So I don't need more Stampedes, even though I love the truck. Um, so yeah, so overall, I'm very happy with the result. Once I fix the gearing, I think it's going to be much more pleasant to drive. Right now, it's got too much wheel speed, and you basically jump over or everything that you're trying to crawl, which makes it terrible for crawling because the motor is too jittery, which is weird for a brushed motor. And uh, it's hard on it as well because it's not since it's not geared properly. So that's uh, take uh, a look at uh, my new Sim Kong head. Love the Kong head. It was a great, oh, amazing to build. I love how to me and kids go together so well. And then of course with the RC four wheel drive Sim tires, military Sim tires, I think it adds really to the look, and I do have weights in most of these as well. 
Yeah, all of them have weights, so that puts the weight down nice and low, exactly where you want it to go. And again, you're not going to be going over a lot of obstacles, but this is a trail truck, so you, you shouldn't be going over massive obstacles because it's just not going to do it. Anyway, that's about it for my Kong head, mill spec. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and we will go from there. Thanks for watching. See ya.